Hello, 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 hello again. It's me, Janer. Today I am with you with another video. Today I'm gonna talk about advantages of being an airline pilot. So I hope it's gonna be a motivational video for you. Before starting, I would like to make a disclaimer first. Whatever I'm gonna talk in this video is based on me. So they are my thoughts and I cannot cover all advantages of being an airline pilot. All right, I'm gonna cover the most important ones for me. And at the same time, I would like to mention that some advantages may not suit you well because I'm a white belt pilot. Okay, that being said, let's continue. First things first, right? Now let's talk about the salary. As you know, most of the time, pilots are known as they're getting paid well. Well, that's partly true. I'm not saying that this is not true, but that's partly true. First of all, if you are at the beginning of your career, you might earn an average salary, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna stay there. Before recording this video, I had a look at an average salary of a pilot. I had compared these values with the other occupations. So when I check pilot salary against teaching jobs, against engineering jobs, against the corporate jobs, I must say that still pilot salaries are higher than these jobs. So when you start your career at the beginning, you are not getting paid very well. Of course, it depends which company you're working for and how did you join this company. But your salary, I must say that, is progressing with the time that you are inside the company. Let me give you an example. If you're a pilot in the United States, you're guaranteed that your salary each year will be increasing. Yeah, that's true. But I must say that this valid for the most of the airlines. You start as a first officer, when you're upgraded to the captain, let's say in 10 years, your salary is going up and up and up. So when you start with $40,000, there is no reason you cannot earn $300,000 after 15 to 20 years. And that's pretty much guaranteed. Let's compare to a teaching job. Most of the time, teaching jobs, you know, when you, what you are going to get paid is constant. It's going to increase based on inflation rate. But if you're a pilot, on the other hand, each year your pay scale will go higher and higher. And finally, once you are promoted, you will be even getting way more salary than the first year as a pilot. So it makes huge difference on your salaries. Okay, the second one is you are traveling world and exploring world for free. Let me give you an example. You're flying all around the world and depending on the flight, you have layover at outstations. It depends of the flight, yes, but maybe one day, two days, even three days. You are paid to stay at the hotel and you can explore the cities. And you get paid for allowances, for eating, drinking, and also your hotel is paid. And sometimes hotels are paid for a room. So basically, you can take your wife, your friend with you and they can stay with you for free. This is an amazing experience. For instance, you can explore the cities, different cuisines, different cultures, and you can see the attraction places. If you visit Paris, you can go to Eiffel Tower. And if you fly to Miami, you can walk on the South Beach. If you went to Istanbul, you can make a Bosporus tour. So this all included. Imagine if you want to go to these destinations, you have to pay for a ticket, then you need to book a hotel, then you need to arrange a tour, you need to eat. But if you are going there on a duty, you don't need to pay any of them, but just the attractions. That's an amazing opportunity. If you are like me, a guy, like what I mean by me, a guy who likes to travel a lot, you are gonna love it. So being a pilot is really fun when it comes to exploring different countries. Okay, number three, travel benefits. If you are working for an airline or if you are a pilot, most probably your airlines 
are supplying you free tickets or discounted tickets. And you can even use these rides for your friends or your loved ones and your parents or family. That's an amazing opportunity. Imagine if you're planning a vacation together, then I bet the most expensive item in your list is the tickets. And you can save huge amount of money by company provided tickets. The tickets rights are changing based on the companies from one company to another. It might be different, but still it's an amazing opportunity for us. And most of the time we are not only flying the company that we are flying for. Also, we have a right to fly with another airlines. That's also nice because sometimes you just plan to go somewhere else, literally at the end of the world that your airline is not flying there so you just fly the closest destination and thereafter you just go and check from the Z system that you can if you can find the ticket then you can buy it I will give you an example last vacation I was in Rio I flew to Sao Paulo first and thereafter from Sao Paulo to Rio first way I traveled in business class without paying anything. If I had to pay for this ticket, I didn't check, but I had to pay thousands of dollars. And from Sao Paulo to Rio, I just paid $50. But if I had to buy this ticket full fare, like normal passenger, I had to pay $130. Thanks to airline, can you imagine how much I saved by using company discounted tickets? That's an amazing opportunity. Let's continue with item number four. Fourth advantage that I want to talk is insurance. As a pilot, we do a risky job. So we are in high category risk. That's why we are covered most of the time with a good insurance. First of all, I would like to talk about medical and dental insurances. Those are really nice for us. I can give my example. I'm covered by any medical condition in the country that I'm residing and also the other countries that I'm traveling or anywhere in the world. That insurance also comes with dental. Dental is important because most of the insurances that supply to employees do not cover dental insurance. That's good. And also I would like to talk about long-term sickness. What I mean, if you cannot work, 30 days, two months, three months, you're also covered. Your basic salary is getting paid to you directly. So that's also a good opportunity. And the last thing that I want to mention is loss of medical. What I mean by loss of medical, imagine you're a pilot and you have encountered with unpleasant situation that no longer you can be a pilot. That case, your medical is withdrawn by the Civil Aviation Authority and therefore the insurance company can pay you your annual basic salary depending on your age. This insurance also changes from the company to company but if you are young you can get up to three years of basic annual salary. That's good for you, you can, so that you can plan for the upcoming years. That's a good opportunity. In the next three years you can find another job or you can do some other aviation related jobs like simulator instructor, working at the office, but at least these three years pays off your initial flight training costs. Next one is flexible schedules. I love it a lot. I'm pilot for almost eight years and I enjoy the lifestyle because after flying eight years, I feel like I cannot do any works at the office because I'm so used to have different off days than the normal office jobs. I use my time efficiently by having flexible schedule. Our job is not based on days. Our job is based on flying hours. So it's not like Monday to Friday you are working, Saturday and Sunday you have an off day. That's not the case. So literally you can have a couple of days off in weekdays. It gives us a couple of advantages. For instance, if you need to go to bank, if you need to visit the school of your kid, you can do these things at your off day in weekdays. That's an amazing thing for me. Uh, imagine if you are working a corporate job from Monday to Friday, 
most probably you need to ask for permission two hours three hours or whatever let me give you another example you can visit malls restaurants other attraction places while they are not busy most of the people they have off days at weekends so they all go out at the same time i hate going out when it is crowded i don't enjoy my time but as a pilot when i have day off in weekdays i just go and enjoy with my friends where the places are not crowded that's a good opportunity for me the last thing i would like to mention is off days if you are working any office jobs most probably you have two days off per week if you are lucky but as a pilot we are not working as i told you previously based on days but flying hours as a triple seven pilot since my flights are between 70 to 85 hours in general average that gives me most of the time 10 to 11 or sometimes 12 13 days off in a month so com let's compare if you're working at the office you have eight days off and if you are flying as a pilot at 777, you're getting average 12 days off. So I have four days off. And similarly, when I come back from a duty, let's say at 12 or 1 a.m., officially that day is counted as work. So basically I just sleep and wake up at 8, 9 a.m. in the morning and I continue my day, though I have counted as I worked at that day but I have full day available in front of me. Those are really great when it comes to flexible schedules. Let's continue with the sixth one. No work carryover. I love it a lot. I don't need to deal with any other things once flight is over. I just come to home, enjoy my time, that's it. No more preparing presentations, no more thinking of next day meetings, no more preparations, sending emails, receiving calls, asking for meetings. No, I just prepare for my flight, go there, fly and come back. That's it. Once you step out of the airplane, it's your time. That I love it a lot. All right, last one. It's a rewarding job. It is a really rewarding job. When I jump in the airplane, when I start flying, I'm still amazed after eight years. You have really self-satisfaction at this job. Okay, maybe you don't like your company that you're flying for or you're thinking to change your job, but I'm 100% sure if you're a pilot, you will understand me. When you start flying, you forget everything. You really enjoy. So really, you have a really high self-satisfaction at this job. It's a very respected job. People really respect you and what you are doing. They know how hard to become a pilot. They know how hard you studied to become a pilot. Therefore, they respect you. Also, you could feel, you know, when you walk on the airport with your uniform, people stare at you with an envy. So you, they feel like, wow, look at this guy, look at them. That uniform make you being respected. That is so good. And also that brings really nice self-satisfaction. When you see the kids trying to take a picture with you, when they approach to you and they talk to you, I want to be a pilot when I grow up, when I'm an adult, I would like to be a pilot. I ask my daddy already, I send me to flight training, this kind of things. It's really amazing feel. Okay guys, today we have covered seven advantages of being an airline pilot. That's it. I want to hear from you. If you have any further advantages that I didn't mention, please go ahead and drop a message down to me. I will read each of your comments and I also would like to hear from you. What do you want me to record next? I have an idea. Today we have talked about advantages. Of course, there are some disadvantages as well. In the next coming video, I'll be talking about disadvantages of being an airline pilot. Okay, before going, as usual, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. My subscribers make me motivated. That's really important for me. 
And also, please do not forget to like button. And if you hit the bell button, you can get the notifications once I upload the new videos. That's it for today. See you in the next video. And next video, as I said, will be disadvantages of being an airline pilot. That's it for today. See you. Bye-bye.